I got an email from Timothy. This should be an interesting discussion. He said, I was watching a video discussing the inclusion of a white student organization at a particular college campus and wondered if you guys might be interested in discussing a particular topic on your show. Do white groups have any need to organize on group, into groups on campus? If so, would it be an inherently racist group? And finally, do these groups inherently draw lines between ethnic groups that actually perpetuate race and ethnic issues? This is interesting. So this was, it made kind of minor news. Um, at Towson University, there were two out of three students are white, I'll mention. Uh, this is just outside uh, uh, the East Coast city of Baltimore, where most of the population is actually black. A student, 21-year-old student named Math uh, Matthew Heimbach says, white culture is dying. Every other single group has a union, Jewish, black. Why don't white students get equal treatment? He uh, uh, also was uh, uh, involved in another group a while back, um, which was a which the Youth for Western Civilization, which was not able to continue because it had a bit of a supremacist agenda, according to the university's assistant vice president for student affairs. So he says we live on a campus where there is discrimination against whites. He's referring to affirmative action, and he says that uh, the white student union, which isn't officially recognized by the university has around 30 members. To be officially recognized, you need an advisor, and it's been tough to get an advisor for the white student union. Let's talk about this. Um, I don't know where to start. I mean, specifically with this individual, um, I believe that he does have a history that indicates that what's at the core here is an element of white supremacy, not just a group that is getting together for the same reasons that we would have any number of other ethnic or racial groups. So specifically with this group, I'm tended to think his motives are a little bit uh, 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 supremacist. Okay, uh, let's say this pops up on another college and you know nothing about the individual or the members, um, the individual starting it or the members. Still, wouldn't the first thing that comes to mind be, okay, these people are prob probably have a, a white supremacist agenda? We may have that tendency, but that tendency may not be unwarranted. Uh, just to add another note, Heimbach denies being racist, but he says that there are dangers of Marxism and a multicultural society. And he talks about a genocide where minority groups will overtake whites in the U.S. population. Sounds perfectly uh, like what David Duke or Pat Buchanan say, we're going to be overrun by Hispanics and other groups, okay? Right. So this guy specifically, I think he probably is uh, racist here. However, n let's go to Natan first. Is a white group like this, if they want to have a white student union, is it inherently racist? Well, it's t difficult to answer. So, for example, a lot of the black groups that would appear on a campus or a Jewish group or even a Latino group, which in itself may be too broad, sometimes there's an El Sal Salvadorian group, a Uruguayan group, etc., these things are meant to unite people with common cultural uh, threads or language or history. And all of these groups have been oppressed in American history, and some of them continue to be. In fact, all of the ones that I mentioned in some ways. Whereas white people have never been oppressed in this country. White people have always been the majority, and they still are the majority, and they have had a certain amount of privilege. And, I would add that white people do not share a common ethnicity. There are Irish people, there are Jewish white people, there are, hello, Argentinian white people, like on this show. There are all kinds of white people who don't have an, exactly a shared identity. And the only real reason that I can think of that someone would want to unite people only along the lines of their skin and not along the lines of ethnicity is because they have some idea that they deserve to be together in the same way that the other groups are. And I can't think of that happening without supremacism being a part of it. That's not to say that it's impossible, but it's very hard for me to believe it. I would say, is not inherently racist? No, not necessarily. But I'd really be curious to hear what they're talking about uh, At the when, when they're talking about white culture. Uh, yeah, what they're talking about, those meetings. Right. Which white culture, does white culture even exist? Is there such a thing? I mean, there's certainly the idea, it's, it's a good point, which is the idea that white culture, in the sense that it includes uh, Irish people in Boston. It's a euphemism. And, and people of German origin in Georgia, and that there would be some kind of shared culture there, specifically because of the white skin color, it, it seems non-existent. Right. It, right. Not only non-existent, it's, a, for the most part, it's a euphemism. It, it's a reference to a period of American history where they were oppressing people of color. I mean, that is the term that ha is often used by KKK members, by white supremacists, white culture, 
white people, a white country, the country being taken away from us. This is all very old language. I think with regard to these groups, we need to say there are no blanket statements. In this particular case, the kid's got a supremacist background. He tried to do something similar. He says things that are pretty, pretty uh, xenophobic. In this particular case, I would say this was going to be a racist group. I agree.